тоже. Hey everybody, I'm Brian Coverline. I'm an astrophysicist and senior lecturer at the Rochester Institute of Technology. I'm also a guy with an idea for a new kind of science documentary series we're calling Big Science. One of the goals of this project is to demonstrate that science isn't the result of isolated geniuses writing weird equations on chalkboards, but that it takes a team of scientists and technicians and blue collar workers like welders and mechanics to get a project up and running and make it a success. So rather than having a celebrity host and a bunch of CGI and professors talking in their offices, we want to take you actually to these facilities and introduce you to the people who keep it up and running. As you can imagine, it takes a whole bunch of work to make a television series, and that's where this web series comes in. We're calling it Big Science Observations, and it's really my personal notebook on all the background work and research that it takes to get the series off the ground. Now, in Big Science, the television series, we're going to follow a single science project all the way through its chain of responsibility and see the characters from the scientists with a dream, to the support staff who keep the facility up and running, to the technicians who face challenges and tight deadlines that have to be met in order for the project to be a success. We're also going to look at the surrounding community and see how the facility actually provides advantages to the community and poses some challenges. And we're gonna do all of this in their words, from their points of view. Our first stop is gonna be Green Bank Observatory in the Appalachian Mountains of West Virginia. Green Bank is located in what's known as the National Radio Quiet Zone. And that means no television stations, no cell phone towers, and Wi-Fi is severely limited. We love to be connected to everybody and everything, but in Green Bank, that can't happen. So the community faces the challenge of wanting to work in the modern world while maintaining this quiet zone that's absolutely necessary for Green Bank Observatory to happen. Big Science Observations is my personal notebook and will roughly follow the same structure as the television series. We'll look at why Green Bank is the perfect location for a radio telescope, how the National Radio Quiet Zone makes the community seem almost frozen in time, and we'll see how the community supports the Green Bank Observatory and how the observatory gives back to the community. Finally, we'll look at the science of radio astronomy and how after 60 years, Green Bank Observatory remains one of the leading research facilities in the world. So thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch for new episodes of Big Science Observations. Thank <laughs> you.